Welcome back in this era of conquest and you guys are looking for control advice and honestly I think control is one of the most fun builds to play in this game. Why? Because it's kind of the one where you get the most characteristics or your personality or you know just your preferences do come out and I'm going to explain the different types of control units, all the ways you can control your opponent and why they're really fun to use in era of conquest. Hello, yes, smash like, comment and subscribe for more videos here on Era of Conquest and we're covering a little bit of control and we've done already Burn and Assault. I think those guys are a little bit more simple, honestly, in the regards of what they're supposed to do. They're pretty self-explanatory, right? So we've got the Burn guys, combo, active skill damage. Then we've got the Assault guys that are more combo or utility, but it's more about launching normal attacks and taking advantage of normal attacks. What these guys are doing here in the control uh, meta is basically, as you can imagine, as the name states, tries to do some sort of controlling effect or CC, you know, crowd control to the opponent to gain an advantage. And there's a wide variety of these heroes in the game. You can see one combination that I'm currently running is one called Ying Zeng. We've got Ying Zeng with Peter and Charlemagne. A really fantastic little combo here. And the reason why this is a fantastic combo, just to give you guys a little basic introduction into control, is because we have these effects tied to the main skill. And this main skill here allows us to potentially either silence or disarm the target. And what you can do is actually click on silence and what it does is it explains what it means. And it's just unable to cast active skills, which is very powerful against burn players, as you can imagine, because the burn players need to active those, cast those active skills while you're on the burn trigger to get the massive damage factor out, right? But you can silence it and hopefully push them out of swing. And as you can imagine, disarm does the, the opposite. So instead of doing active skills, we get to put a normal attack. So you can't launch any normal attacks. Your weapons have basically been disarmed and you're just unable to launch them. So again, against assault heroes, very, very good for them um, to, to go against. So you can see what the control guys are all about here. And we can go into, for example, our little bubble or globe here which gives us that little codex on you know some control metas and we're looking at peter at the moment so this is peter the first you will unlock him in i believe your second ever relic hunt and then he will just come around in the golden chest and again reappear later on which is really cool but what you're going to be able to do though with this guy is you can see where there's this setup here running richard which is really powerful and you can go on to the other setup and this is the one i am running right now but you can see even a, an epic hero there lee shin min right that you could be using if you don't own maybe one of these legendary heroes be in the other two right and I like the fact that you can go in here and get a little basic idea on what control heroes uh, want to do because you can see their effects here are very, very powerful and in you know conjunction to crowd controlling down the enemy unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into some actual control pairings, what you could be running, and some good controlled heroes like we do with the assault and burn bills. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up to the stronger heroes in the game so you can obviously work on that progression as you play Era of Conquest. But before we go into it, let's just check out today's sponsor. Huawei App Gallery is currently using an exclusive offer from December 12th going all the way to January 10th. What you're going to be able to do is use the campaign link in the description below or in the comment. And guess what? You're going to get access to what you can see on screen. And by logging in to this with your account, you're going to be able to claim these special coupons for any of your spending you've been doing within Huawei App Gallery. On top of this, there's an offer too which gives you an exclusive $10 gift back as well. And if you need any help with any of this, guess what? They're even kind enough to give you the discount discord and the qr code that you can scan and get all of this information directly to you so check it out huawei app gallery currently running on right now
and welcome back and thank you again Huawei App Gallery once again because without those guys honestly we wouldn't be playing honestly one of my favourite era of Conquest 4 City City building games honestly it's, it's insane this 4x game is so good for what it is providing you as a player so let's go over some control heroes now we've gone over the basics hopefully so you understand what control marchers want to do right and you understand that you can always if you ever need to click on the little globe and go and find a march right so one of the basic heroes that you're going to get access to at the start is Boudicca as well as Li Shimin. and the cool thing with Li Shimin is as we always has advised even on this channel is if you start with the civilization with the unlock for Li Shimin, you're gonna get the only epic hero that has a control skill which is really really cool on them with the ability to have an ASAS rating, which is very, very powerful. The fact that he is capable of going with any troop type and having a hundred percent effectiveness. It is so good when you're trying to push the higher level of those tiles that you might not think you can kill, but if you try it, you'd be surprised, right? So you can get access to these two starter heroes already. And you can see Boudicca, if you started with Britain, you're gonna get a really powerful one again, a 40% chance here to basically trigger a disarm. And if there's already someone that's disarmed, silenced or stunned when you target them, guess what? You will disarm another target instead. So you can potentially be disarming two targets here with Boudicca if you wanna go down the disarming route. And if you go with your Lishin Min, he's kind of the opposite. So he's doing the similar thing, but instead he's the silence boy. So if you want to silence him and get rid of the burn players, this is your guy, right? So you can see here that these are your two basic kind of control marches. And again, you can click on Lishin Min here and you can see he's good for this combo. You can also go on to Boudicca, click on the little globe and you can see she's really good with this combo and we're going to talk about this next hero in a moment which is going to be honestly YSS and this epic hero for the control players honestly is going to be your all star honestly it's scary how good this hero is and at first I didn't really rate him it's because the way his skill works is kind of silly so the probability looks very, very low and it is at the start and that's kind of where I kind of fell for the trap with YSS because when you do get him to level 20, you're going to have a 36% chance of launching this skill, which is very, very good because this does either a silence or a disarm on two enemy units for one round. And the cool thing is if they're already in that state, you stun them for one round with another 36% chance trigger. This amount of control CCing that you can apply onto one hero or two heroes, I say, is kind of insanity. And this is where you're gonna go from. So if you only have Boudicca and Leash and Min, don't worry, you're gonna work towards Y Sun Sin here or YSS and unlock this hero and you're gonna work on use him for honestly quite a while until you get a decent legendary hero. Because when we go into the legendary pairage, you can see we're gonna have that YSS with the Boudicca and even just a Pericles there in the third slot for some healing. And if you're wondering, and I'm gonna go over them in a little bit, what the third slots are, you do kind of want a healer or a tank, but we'll cover that in a moment. We're just gonna go over the control heroes first. So you just got a good idea of the, the progression of these guys right so we're gonna start again we've got Boudicca, Leash and Min now we've opened maybe a couple of check you know 20 summons or something and we finally got luckily Y Sun Sun so we might run something like Y Sun Sun and Boudicca so we can get that effect otherwise we could just run simply Leash and Min with Y Sun Sun that's, that's you know not a problem you could try that out and do a lot of effect again with that but you are more targeting the silence inside or the disarm right so where do you go from here so when we go up you're going to start seeing we can scroll up the control heroes are basically the next two legendaries on this list here so we've got ying zeng and peter and peter you've seen already is honestly and if you've not guessed it just straight up the best control hero so if you are trying to play control you really do want to unlock peter the uh, peter the first 
in the relic hunt and or through summoning and honestly level him up because this guy's skill just allows you to always consistently silence a target which is insanely strong when you're trying to combat with other guys and top of this he also gives you as you can see some healing which is really nice on top of obviously controlling the enemy so an all-star factor this is a hundred percent probability chance and because of the way his skill works where every time he triggers if the silence it reduces as you can see by 15 percent but if they're already controlled it doesn't do anything you know it'll hit someone with a 75 percent chance trigger it so you are always going to control someone with peter and with a bow take a bow my friend he is definitely the number one but ying zeng has a very powerful kind of control effect because it's a bit weird when we look at it because he does inflict panic so panic is a damage all the time control effect so it's a very weird thing some people might call this more of an offensive hero you could but i want to call it an offensive control hero because every time you have this debuff on them because it is a debuff that you're applying which is what control players kind of want to do you continuously deals damage to the enemy hero each round so every single round you're silencing them or disarming them, you've got the panic on top, which is a damage over time, which is giving you extra damage, which is killing them because they can't do anything, right? So that's why I honestly put Ying Zeng in there with the control boys. Maybe people disagree, that is fine, but I wouldn't say you need to unlock Ying Zeng. I just wanna say this guy is honestly a fantastic hero. And if you get him, you can definitely use him in your lineups. So let's go over some actual pairings, right? So the first one that I am going to recommend, as you can imagine, is going to be um, your um, Li Xin Min Boudicca with the Pericles, right? This is going to be the first one. And what you can do with this is actually upgrade Pericles. So no matter what control setup we go with here, apart from one specific one that we're going to talk about, you always need the third commander to be some sort of tank or some sort of support or some sort of healer, you know, to get the maximum out of it. Because you want to basically keep winning the fight over a longer period because that's how you win fights with control. They're really, really powerful in that regard. So you could get someone like Pericles very, very strong in the early game. I'm using, as you can see, um, in my control lineup, Charles. Charles is very powerful, again, because as you can imagine, Charles is allowing you to actually increase the probability of those, you know, triggers of going. So you can run a Charles Y Sun Sun and a Li Shin Min, and that's a beautiful combination there for you. And we can again go in our Charles and see we can run this. And obviously, if you've got more heroes um, at your disposal, you're going to be able to get access to this buff right which is really really cool when we go into other guys the julius caesar or even the the one and only patcher you can use these type of guys if you really want as a third hero for them these are just upgrades from pericles again they're just healing units and they're gonna try and tank basically damage by healing healing and healing which is really really good for those guys so you can try that route or another route you can do is actually bring in a support that steals stats. And one hero that I don't have access to and I wish I did is actually Richard. Richard is very surprisingly good with control because the way you read this is a very control style effect because he does decrease his own damage of his own normal attacks because to be honest he doesn't care about that because he's about to deal a massive amount of physical damage in a burst to you and what he does is he steals your strength from your and your intelligence and defense from you for five rounds and that is very powerful in control because now I have a stat increase because I've stolen your stats and I've gained them and now I've silenced you and I've disarmed you and I've potentially panicked you. Like you can see how the control is a very powerful match but it does take a little bit of you know thinking about what you could be bringing to the table right. If you're wondering about skills now on that 
um, what you could be bringing, you, it will recommend you quite a lot. One I'm running on my Peter, as you can imagine, is Highest Honor. This is, again, just to try and trigger a disarm on them. And if they're already disarmed, they'll get stunned. And it's just like a really powerful effect. Our hero does this all the times. Then this is basically a guaranteed stun straight after. So very, very cool little one there. And then Parthian Tactics, again, a 70% chance to inflict a silence again insanely good guys like you're just basically looking for skills that are doing the same as your heroes why because you want the ability so if if you're running someone like Weiss and Sun here and you're looking for a skill you you're looking for the ways that you could basically you know um have them already silent so when you go to silence them you're doing the you know stun effect or the additional silence on another target right you're trying to get a combo out of it so this is what you want to try and do with your type of skills in that if you're looking at my uh, my actual match we are running still if we go to our um, Ying Zeng, we have Bohemian War Wagon. Again, whenever a hero of yours has their forces drop to plus 70%, we will inflict a disarm, silence, or stun stars to all enemy troops at a random that will last for one round. So this is a very, again, really powerful effect that you can see is very overloaded when you start to read what it's going to do here. And these, again, what you're looking for in your heroes. So, you know, we're decreasing damage taken. Really nice little supportive skill there on our hero. And then if we look at our Charles, who's obviously in the, the march, we've got Heart of Avalon. This is about healing, which is really nice. And Maltese Eagle. Again, um, being able to inflict chaos onto the target, which is really cool. Attacks and skills do not distinguish between enemies and allies. It's a very insanely powerful um, effect in this game. Or anti-healing right so we can either stop them from healing or inflict chaos with this effect love it just absolute love it so you can see control is honestly got more personality do you want to stop your opponents from attacking a lot do you want them to stop them from casting actives do you a lot do you want to steal more stats and then take advantage of that you tell me what you want and then they're going to be able to do it and that is the beauty of control so i hope i've explained it for you guys here with a nice control guide we've now done the assault burn and now finally the control um lineup so if you again over the seasons when more and more heroes obviously come out we will obviously talk about updating these guides and obviously updating the tier list and stuff when we get access to the other heroes so if you enjoyed the video smash a like comment and subscribe i want to say thanks again for watching and thank you Huawei app gallery for sponsoring today's content and with all of that stay safe stay sneaky peace out